What's up, Nail Geeks? Today I will be showing you guys the Fandom Flakies box for May. The theme is the Umbrella Academy, and the special guest this month for the box is Dollish Polish. This is a wonderful vampy set that I think represents the show very, very well. So let's get started with some swatches. First up is Night Owl Lacquer's Contribution. This is Oot Malum Pluvia. This is a black base with blue to navy to violet and red to copper to gold UCC flakies, gold crystal flakes, and white shreds. This was inspired by their uniforms and the crest. The formula on this one feels like a very rich, opaque jelly in my opinion. It's very super smooth on the nail during application. For opacity, I'm going to say two coats and you're going to be good to go. This one is loaded with those UCC flakies and it drives me insane that on the video and in my swatch photos, I really feel like it's being subtle with all of those little flakes that are in here. Just know in person, you can definitely see a full array of colors of flakes in this one and they behave very easily for me. I had no problems with them laying down on the nail or picking up on the brush. It does dry down a bit on the semi-gloss side, but I would still recommend a good glossy top coat to really have those flakes pop out, which is what you're seeing here on the full hand shot. Really, really nice overall, and it does have a very nice sparkle from the flakes in the final look. And Bees Knees Lacquer's contribution is always the lookout. This is inspired by Klaus and is a smoky eggplant purple filled with multi-chrome flakes that shift from army green to silver to pink and red to orange to green. So the formula on this one is once again very super smooth, very buttery on the nail. It applies very opaque overall and this is positively loaded with flakes. So really I think depending on how you wear it you're going to see all of them here. They make a really nice pond effect overall. For opacity, I'm going to say at two coats and you'll still see a wonderful layering effect with the flakes and a really strong, very opalescent like appearance. So that base color is definitely what I would consider a smoky eggplant. There is a bit of a dusky feel to it overall. I do feel like the video is showing up accurate, though it is a touch darker than what I'm seeing in person. Um, unfortunately, I think my camera is just freaking out on, on the flakes in this box. Now, I had no problems with the flakes picking up on the brush or laying down flat on the nail. I personally would recommend a glossy top coat to really have those flakes pop. And you're going to get a very, very pearlescent, like opaly looking appearance given the shift of the flakes. And the Guest Makers Polish, Dollish Polish. This is Run Boy Run, inspired by the number five and the amazing Wood Kids, Kids song. This is a midnight blue base with a strong purple flash loaded with color shifting chrome and iridescent flakes in varying shades of emerald to lime, turquoise to teal, purple to violet, and salmon to magenta. So the formula on this one definitely feels very jelly-like to me. I'm going to say three coats for opacity, and the buildup is absolutely worth it on this one. It's loaded with flakes and shimmer here. As you can see um, on the second coat here, you'll definitely get a nice pond effect and a really wonderful layering effect with this one. So the base color is definitely a lovely midnight blue, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, a bit on the darker side and really pops against all of those flakes. This one is loaded with them as well. Overall, you'll get a really nice luminescent blue effect um, in the final look. And on that third coat here, you'll really see it pop overall. This one does dry down a bit on the semi-gloss side as well, so I would recommend any top coat with this one. Though personally, I went in with my favorite glossy top coat and it just really made everything pop. As you can see, it's just got a really nice shimmery effect to it, very glowy overall, and just stays where you put it. I had no problems picking those flakes up on the brush here either. Everything applied smooth and flat on the nail. And then after top coating, I had no texture with this one either. Very, very nice, very vampy. Um, like I said, I feel like it definitely represents the show um, overall. <clears throat> so the box does come with water slide decals from Ribbit Stickets. You can apply them as like a temporary tattoo on your nail with a wet sponge, or you can um, use them like how I use them. And I normally put them in water for maybe 10 to 15 seconds. And then I'm able to fish it out and kind of slide it gently off of the paper backing. And then I just apply it straight to my nail. So here, um, normally when I do any type of nail art or anything with my nails with um, water, I always use filtered water. I feel like 
whether I'm water marbling or applying the uh, water slide decals, I just feel like it works better in my opinion. So here I'm going over um, a white base on my nail and I'm just applying it here. So as you can see, it's kind of, um, it is like a temporary tattoo, but the way I like to use them is like this. Um, I, I just feel like it gives me a lot of control over where I'm putting it on my nail. After I lay it down, I just kind of press down on it to squeeze out any excess um, little water droplets that might be in there and it's good to go. So when you put them on your nail like this, it does give you a bit of a like matted look. So when you top coat, um, and if you want them to be glossy, I would recommend going over it with a top coat, a glossy top coat to really um, have that image pop. The nice thing about water slide decals is you can get some crazy uh, detailed images on your nail without having to stamp them. And here I'm using the Bees Knees Lacquer and the Night Owl Lacquer from the box. And I'm just kind of doing a dry brush effect a little bit just around the decal image. Um, just to kind of incorporate all of the polishes from the box here. Um, super easy. I think dry brushing is one of the better types of nail art. Um, if you're lazy like myself, um, just really easy and you can get a really nice colorful effect overall. Um, what you'll do is you'll take your brush and you want to, on the sides of the bottleneck, brush off as much polish as possible. So you're just basically using like the base color and you're kind of just dabbing and like gently like essentially dry brushing it onto your nail um, with as minimal polish as possible. And then here I'm going in with my favorite top coat that I usually use. Um, those of you usually ask me, it's always Night Owl Lacquer's Patience Not Required. Um, just going in normal and the decal lays flat on your nail. There's no issues whatsoever, um, especially if you did the pressing out of the water uh, step that I was doing earlier. So smooth sailing, everything's nice, um, and you can't see any lines from it or anything. Overall, very wonderful. The entire sheet has images from the show all over it and will be five in the box. So the pre-order for the Fandom Flakies box begins May 10th at noon Eastern time and the pre-order will end May 18th at 11.59 Eastern time. You'll get all three limited edition polishes for 30 plus shipping. And as well, you can also add a wax melt from the brands as well. Um, this month is a blue wax that smells of clean rain and hints of tropical fruits and smoke for $4.50. So I will have all this broken down below for you guys, as well as my blog posts if you want additional swatches. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.